Okay, let's do a little quick tutorial on, on the Turing machine here on the Max for Live device. So it's a MIDI effect, so you have to create a MIDI channel. You um, insert a Turing machine and then you take a synth of your choice. So in this case, I took Serum. Let's just get rid of those nasty highs from the sawtooth and give it some unison. Um, now I'm just going to hit play. So I can use it as a random melody um, player and I can either have it like um, it says right here that at um, nine o'clock or, or three o'clock um, it will keep the loop or the sequence that I lock in place and then it will randomly at some point take a random sequence and add it and start playing that one in, in instead so you get the, like these ever evolving melodies um if that makes sense and not only that um you can with the turing uh mapper you can um you can take on another midi channel and this time i need to put a, a utility over here because i have a special little routing setup so it boosts the volume on the master channel but that's a whole nother topic so instead let's say i want to map i want to change this to a bandpass for example okay instead of me writing out the automation for the cutoff or doing with the lfo um i can move this synth and i can paste it here instead and then you see here a Turing machine note receiver. Now it's not receiving any MIDI notes from our Turing machine over here. So what I have to do is I have to root it. So I want to put the volts here. I want to activate volts. And I need to go back into my serum. And I need to configure it. So let's say I want to use this to modulate the cutoff and then I want to take another Turing machine to modulate the pitch so we can get like a weird squelchy sequence we can go back to our Turing machine we can just add another one do the ex or let's just duplicate it so I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna map it to the course pitch and I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna map it to the filter cutoff over here. Now, it's automatically gonna, um, it's automatically going to, uh, uh, hang on for a sec. Let's play, where's like, E3 is a good, good one over here, yeah. See, there's no sound coming out because it's, it has mapped it, like, the filter cutoff all the way over here. So what we need to do is, we have to go back to our Turing machines and then we need to adjust this. Something like that. And then we're gonna play with this. And do the same over here. And we got ourselves a little cool loop. And if you want to change it, you can just randomize it. So now, what I did now is that I locked the new sequence that it created from the random, I locked it in place um, for the filter cutoff. So now the filter cutoff is playing another sequence while the pitch is staying the same. 
And then we can go in here and we can start tweaking our patch. Like maybe add some distortion. Maybe we can assign our macro over here if we want to fine tune the. And then maybe we can add some delay and some reverb. Let's take an EQ to take out the lows, add the distortion. So, I mean, it's quite a cool little thing you can have. Maybe let's change the octave over here. Maybe we want to make it play in a faster rate. We can go in here and we can just change like the length of the actual sequence to 4 maybe. Maybe go to 16. It's quite a cool little uh, little um, little thing actually. Um, let's uh, use it to play a uh, melody, for example. So I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna delete this channel, and then we're just gonna use one Turing machine this time. I'm gonna take off the volts over here. And um, let's paste it in here. And let's initialize the preset. And then let's let's go for sine wave. Actually, they're quite um, nice to 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 um, to play with. Um, need to. Ooh, that's piercing. Let's give it some delay. Um, maybe some reverb. Wonder what type. Let's um. And let's make sure we play this in key, so we can just go into our MIDI effects here, and then we can take our um. Scale. Let's of course go for the Phrygian scale because this is Psytrance and Psytrance is only Phrygian scale.
So yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool stuff.